Welcome to my Shopify dropshipping for dummies. You know, maybe a beginner, you want to use Shopify, but, but you don't know how to use Shopify. But first of all, if you want to get an access with Shopify's 30 days free trial, click the link down below in the description of this YouTube video to use Shopify's 30 days free trial. Now, what you can do here with Shopify, you can help you to see your orders here and orders. You can see how many orders you have in a Shopify store. You can able to see the abandoned checkouts. Like people who went on the checkouts but didn't purchase. You can see the percentage here. Okay. Now let me show you how to add your own products on Shopify. It is so simple, guys. All you have to do, you have to go to this product feature. Then under product on Shopify, you can able to import existing product. If you already have an existing product, you can import it here. But now let me show you how you can add your own product on Shopify. Then what you have to do, you have to put the short, uh, the title, the short sleeve, uh, maybe any title that you want for the product that you want to sell. Then you have to go to the product description. You have to write a product description, but I use this AI feature from Shopify, which is going to write for me, my product description for me automatically. All you have to do, you have to insert, you have to put some related keywords for the product that you are selling here on shopify just put some related keywords there i'm gonna put my keywords and then for the tone of voice i'm gonna use an expert you know i'm gonna click here to generate as you can see this ai tool it is writing for me my product description as you can see it is done writing this description for me i'm gonna click here to keep it and then when i click here to keep it i'm gonna go to media then under media on shopify it allows me to choose images or to choose videos uh, for my shopify store then you can go to category you have to choose the related category for the product that you want to sell on shopify and then just look at this look at, take a look at these categories here like arts entertainment camera electronics baby uh, appearance alteration uh, pet suppliers there are so many categories that you can choose from then you're gonna go to pricing and the pricing on shopify it allows you to put the price it means that this is the price that your customers they will pay you this money whenever they buy in or they buy a an order into shopify store then as a code you're gonna you, you can also put the cost per item shopify is gonna show you the profit that you'll be making and also the margins that you'll be making in your shopify store this is how easy it is to add your own product on shopify then leave everything here like default not change everything here this is so simple to add your own product on shopify then make sure that the status of your shopify store it is active guys okay it is active you can just click here to save this uh this shopify store right now then you can also go to collections and the collections you can help you create collections you can also check the inventories you can also check the purchasing orders you can also do transfers you can also transfer money into your bank account or into paypal so that you can get paid on your shopify stores now let's go to customers and the customers you can help you to check your customers details like which countries they are in and also how many orders they have placed in your shopify store if you have, if you have an upsells you can check everything there under customers then for analytics you can help you to track on how your store it is performing you know you can check the top the, the total sales space on a specific days on a specific month on a specific you can able to check the total sales you can also check the online store sessions like how many people they are in a store right now you can also check the online store conversion rate you can also check the total orders you can also check the average order value you can also see their top selling products in your shopify if you are selling multiple products you can help to check which products they are getting the most orders so that you can help to scale those shopify stores guys then you can you can go to marketing and the marketing you can help to do email marketing you can help to do email follow-ups on customers who want who click in the checkout in your shopify store but they didn't purchase you can remind those customers via emails uh to finish their check so they can buy via emails you can also offer some discounts you know uh, especially on holidays or maybe on black friday you can offer some some discounts on the people they will buy more from your shopify stores guys you can also go to online stores these are done for you themes from shopify 
that you can use uh in your shopify stores you can customize these stores you know the way that you want it you know you can change all of these logos here uh change change the the price everything guys put your own domain guys but first of all if on getting access with shopify is taking